Hi, and welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. We last left off by doing the Navajo mission, which was really full on, but exciting. I don't know what's in store today, so let's just get straight into it. Oh, separation. Well, we've already been separated Ready? from the parents. Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. Separation from Aiden? I concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Oh. Oh, can you see anything, Aiden? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's one of these ones. Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. Dad? Jody said that, didn't she? Jody? You okay? Or is that. Does he have a daughter? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Did you see something? Oh, yeah. I saw a little girl. That's his daughter. It was her music box. Yeah. Nathan? Wow. Okay, I'll tell him. Okay. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's um, about. The CIA guy, right. Yes. I know where this is going. I'll be back in a moment. Hmm. So, oh, yeah. Can I, can I look at anything else? Or do I just have to get up? Oh, I want to look at the other things. I want to see more memories. Damn it. <laughs> I want to see more memories there. She looks so pretty with her long hair, doesn't she? Hang on, where is, um... Where's Mr. Dawkins? Listen. I never get around to telling her I need more time. No. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. Look, Dawkins, I see your side of it. All right, I do. But orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me or do I have to go and get her? Jody, could you come here, please? He's never spoken to her about what's going to happen. He's never spoken to her about this. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I don't want to go there. I want to stay with Mr. Dawkins. Right. Well, I don't think we have a choice, really, do we? We don't have a choice. We can't do anything with with Cole, can we? No. All right. So this is it. it. I I don't think Professor Dawkins has spoken to her about the CIA stuff. Damn. What's what's going on, Nathan? You you look upset. Don't you? This is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agency... The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's gonna take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. Whoa. Nathan. No, you can't let them take me away. You have to talk to them. They'll listen to you. My opinion means nothing to them. Your parents have already given their agreement. Whoa. There's nothing I can do. It's not their agreement to give. I'm begging you, Nathan. Please don't let them take me away. Hey, Jody, I know. He 
It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. No one can tell me what to do with my life. Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Whoa. Go fuck yourself. That's it. Let's go. Come here. I don't think so. You don't touch me. Jody. Jody, stop immediately. Aiden's not happy. Go get my things. That's not fair. That's not fair. She was given no warning. No way to prepare. What are the essentials? We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. I don't like that. <laughs> She's finally, like, settled in here and has a home here and has family with Nathan and Cole and now she just has to go it's not fair it's not fair no I don't want to I don't want to mess around with anything. Are we getting watched as we pack our stuff? No. This sucks. I love her little home here. Look at the photo. She's still got that of her, of, of Philip and, and, and her mom. Oh, her bedroom looks amazing too. Can we take the bunny or do we have to go get our bag first before we pack? <laughs> she is so, so upset. I want to see the pictures on the wall. This is awful. This is awful. Okay, so now we can pick our things. I don't want to take the picture of the parents. I'd rather take a picture of Nathan and Cole. I think I want to take the bunny rabbit though. <laughs> I definitely want to take the bunny. Yes. Awful. <laughs> she just has to go. It's breaking my heart. <laughs> Even get a choice. Nathan doesn't want her to go. <laughs> She's just a little girl still, you know? Oh no, we gotta take the bunny. Please let me take the bunny. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. This is so hard to do. <laughs> this life 
is all that she's known <laughs> for such a long time. Like she was forced to go, you know? That's just awful. I don't really want to take, like, the picture of the parents, to be totally honest with you. So I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to ignore that and leave. Hang on, is there anything that I can do as Aiden? Other than destroy the place, you know what I mean? Oh no, that would be to destroy everything, wouldn't it? I don't want to make a mess and like... That's to... I think that would be breaking things. I don't want to do that. We will leave with some respect for everyone. Consider it, Jack. That was difficult. That was so difficult. Oh boy, that was hard. Let's have a look at our choices in that one. 81% told Dawkins what you saw. 83% threatened Clayton. 61% spied on Clayton and Dawkins. <laughs> you gotta spy if you can, right? The end there, I was hoping for like some words of love from Mr. Dawkins, like if for him to say that he loves her or for her to say that she loves him but they've been together for so long as a family and I feel that sometimes you don't need to say that you love somebody for you know what I mean they have so much love for each other already that you don't really need to speak it all the time and I, I think that um, is a good example of that they obviously they're very close and yeah well that was difficult thanks for making me cry again game <laughs> all right let's carry on to the next one the dinner okay in between the embassy the hunted Interesting. We're getting towards the middle of the timeline here. Up in turn 
<laughs> she doesn't seem very happy. <laughs> or maybe she's just chilling. Where is she? In the city or something? Yeah. Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan. I was just wondering if you got my email. What? We? What? What email? The one I sent three days ago. <laughs> Sounds like my life. Oh, you what? Know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. <laughs> what, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now. Oh, so wow. Maybe another time? Okay. Shit. Hmm. Shit, I'm so sorry. I. You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Interesting. Is this a romantic option with Ryan? I'm not a big fan of, of him, I've got to be honest. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. Oh. It's not your call, Aiden. Oh, wow. I can do what I want. Oh, wow. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship <sighs> with whoever I want. Whoa. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. Oh. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. Okay. And I think I'm falling for him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. <laughs> Ryan is not like that. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and. Oh, we got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is incredible. So, oh wow, this is so cool. Hang on, I don't want to be like under a time limit. I, I'm I'm so nervous. I want to get this place books nice. Okay, on you the know, bookshelf. books on the bookshelf. This is incredible. Aiden is jealous of of Ryan. This is insane. Hey, he's jealous of him. He's jealous of him. He doesn't want Great. Jody to have a relationship with anyone. He broke her computer. Damn. Amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving the twist of this. The trash can in the kitchen. I'm loving this little twist. I never would have thought that we would be getting involved in the love triangle. Wow. Okay, look. We know that... Um, Can I tidy up anything else? Um, I, I don't personally oh God. Oh God, like the dinner. Ryan. Okay. There's, there's got to be something in the kitchen. But she likes him, so I need to. I, I need to follow her, <gasps> her lead here. <laughs> don't get drunk, girl. Don't get drunk. Is there anything else that we need to? You know, you're wasting your time, Ida. <laughs> You're not going to stop me from seeing Ryan. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, the time does move. It's ten past seven. Oh, damn. We need to tidy, tidy up. And cook dinner. I think we'll wait to cook dinner later. Because we got to get ourselves ready first, I think. Can I unpack those chairs? Oh, Aiden. He's just gonna make a mess again. 
all of our hard work, right? Okay, I did see some junk in the kitchen here on the little bench. No, I don't want to do that. Put it down. I wanted to tidy up the bench. All right, well, let's, um, let's get dressed or tidy ourselves up or something. Hey, where's our bedroom? Pick up the clothes. clothes in the basket oh. in the bathroom. There we go. There we go. That's the basket just there. All right. Right. There. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is there anything else that we need to... I'm just going to check the bedroom. Not that anything is happening, but I just want to make sure that the bedroom is tidy. This is a beautiful apartment. Okay. Cleaner. What's that? Maybe we need to have a shower. Get dressed. Okay, we'll have a shower. We'll get dressed. Then we'll go and cook dinner. We have limited time here. But I'm a little bit... Um, sort of creeped out a tiny bit by, by Aiden now, you know. Oh, girl, don't you wet your hair. You've got to have dry hair. You don't have time to, like, style your hair and stuff. This is no good. <laughs> she doesn't have time to do her hair. We're in a rush. Hurry up. Hurry up. It's no time for a luxurious shower. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Should... She's interested in Ryan. So... Hang on, I just saw something. There's something. There was something on the mirror. Go and look in the mirror. I can't turn around, it's not letting me. See, there's something there. Okay, what are we putting on? Okay, we need to pick our clothes. Where can I go look? I'm gonna go look in the mirror. Oh, dude, oh, he's here. Crap, he's early. You don't need him. You have me. <laughs> I need clothes on. Where's my wardrobe? Oh, damn. Oh, what should I wear? Um, elegant. Cool, sexy, elegant. Maybe a sexy top. Oh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> She's I've been practicing. For you. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. I don't really like the hi. top, but... He is going to see a whole new side of me. <laughs> okay. I don't like it. Oh. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? Whoa. This date is going on. Period. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I don't like this outfit. I don't like the outfit. Coming. I'm sorry. Did she not? Is she not going to say anything about the mirror? I guess not. What if I just don't answer the door? Oh, man. Aiden is going to go crazy. Huh? He's not even there. That was a trick. Oh, you little rat bag. <laughs> oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Oh, damn. Oh no, this is so bad. I didn't. I didn't. This is so funny. I didn't. Come on, open up. Damn, so bad. She can. Yeah. You wanna play?
play games? I can play too. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Do we still have blood like dripping out of our nose? I think we have to go clean that up and maybe then she'll notice the thingy on the mirror. Mm hmm. Wow. Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. Maybe I shouldn't do anything with Ryan. Because I didn't. I don't feel any romantic connection with Aiden, but. <laughs> it's a quarter to eight, dude. We don't have time to be mucking around. We need to go and look at the dinner. Come on, let's go open up that recipe book and decide what to what to cook. Well, let's tidy on, that up Aiden, just don't quickly. Be a pain in the ass. <laughs> He's not happy. He ain't happy. He ain't happy. This is not going to go very well. All right, what can we cook? Something I can make in one hour. We we have less than an hour. <laughs> We have a lot less Asian beef. Oh, I mean, that looks good. Yeah, it's not too complicated. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Curried chicken with oven baked vegetables. We don't have time for that. It'll take some time in the oven. But exactly. It seems doable. It's too. It takes too long. Pizza delivery. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no, no preparation, no mess. I mean. It could be an option. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do chicken curry or pizza, so we're going to go for Asian beef. Huh. That's not Asian going to take beef. too long. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Do we have to cook too? I'm so excited. This is awesome. Okay, can we get... Do we have all the ingredients? Tomatoes. Beef. Oh, yeah. We are going to make something amazing. Tomatoes, onions, beef. Hell yeah. No, Aiden. Whoa. Thanks for the help. For offering me the knife. To cut the ingredients. Thanks, wow. Oh, I'm worried. I'm really nervous. This is so bad. He's just, oh, damn. <laughs> That's no good. Oh, dear. The curse of the onions. This is going to be amazing. We're going to make a great dinner. Here we go. So we just put all that in the frying pan, I guess. Do we have any like so other far so good ingredients? Bowls, frying pan. So she wants the the stool to get up there. That's not a very convenient cupboard, you know. If you have to get up on a stool, don't you t tip over that stool, Aiden? He can't, why would he hurt her though? If he hurts her. Oh geez, this is just, um, it's hard to think of. Like, oh, so strange, so strange. But you know what? It's, it's like Aiden's body as well, you know. You know, they share a body. He, I guess should make some of the decisions, right? Oh, put in some ginger. That's an Asian spice. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. Okay. <laughs> it's not in the recipe, but. Oh, no. 
Should I it can't hurt? I mean, oh, I know the help I can get. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> He's probably allergic to ginger or something. <laughs> I didn't even check the recipe. Oh, damn. Did I not put the pepper in? Got to try again. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Let's put some more pepper. Let's put some more pepper. <laughs> more pepper. All right, that better do, hey? How many times can we put pepper in? I'm curious. Because that's a lot of pepper. Hey, it's 8.30. Where is he? He's late. It's 8.30. Oh, no. Well, he he's late. Oh, probably I didn't stop him from coming over. <laughs> it's probably killed him. All right, add oh. the sake for flavor. Whoa. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to like cooking. <laughs> that happened to me the other week. The pan just Ryan, you were up in flames. Where is he, though? It is, um... Okay, so we have to go to the table. Got to go to the table, right? I could do something with that tap. Oh, I'm washing up. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. But look, I don't really like how she's made the food and he's not even here. Like, it's just going to go cold. It's going to go cold. Where is he? She looked over at this. There he is. Oh, I don't know. This is going to go so bad. And he's like half an hour late. Looks pretty good. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I didn't behave yourself. <laughs> this is important to me, and I'm counting on you. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. He seems so. nice. <sighs> she likes him. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so nervous. She's adorable, hey. Oh, oh apartment. Okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny, but really scary. Oh, dude, you are going to get so hurt. <laughs> this is so bad, hey. She still has the flame going on the frying pan. Can we turn that off? Or is it still cooking? It's been cooking there for like half an hour. Okay, we're not... Okay, we're going over here. All right, all right. We're going to have a drink on the couch. It's a white couch. This is not going to go well. No, no, I'll do it. Oh, no, you can... Please let him, because I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> this is going to go everywhere. There we go. Oh, man. All over our white couch. You know what's going to happen. Oh, he seems actually happy. Do you know apartment? It's my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything. Oh, no, 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 Actually, the first place I've ever had, just <laughs> by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to... And how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I, I have a place to down. I don't know if I want to do anything wrong, you know? Did you, did you grow up here? Or... No. No, I, I was born in Oregon. 
parents and brother still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. oh. Did you get kicked out? Or I'm something? curious though. Can I? Should I? Uh, I can't mess with the food. Chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. Oh, wow. And, uh, I oh, just God. decided to get out before one of us went too far. Damn, that's sad. I think I have to do something. So I'm going to go for the least How did you end up joining the invasive thing. I saw some lights I, uh, I went that I could turn I really off, I think, I somewhere, do. right? Yeah. I might just turn that off. What did that do? I didn't really do anything. So I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because <laughs> this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> you need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. She's so nervous. I didn't really want to do anything too much as I did, but I think it made me have to do something. Uh. Asian beef, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, nice. Well, do not get your hopes up. <laughs> this is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. She's did a, done a great job. Mm. This is good. Good. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Oh, no. So we've been Don't working together now for what? what? Two years? I know almost nothing about you. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to say. I didn't do anything I mean, bad. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus. And then, and then Nathan looked after me. And, well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So. Yeah, I'm your not parents, doing anything. Do you, uh, <laughs> you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. Yeah. Definitely. So, Nathan and Cole, they they brought me up more or less. Mm -hmm. They taught me how to cope with Iden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but you know, I'm making progress. Oh no, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> yeah, did Did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Iden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a, a lot of stuff about the infra world. Infra world. Really not much about Aiden. Mm. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now? You know, listening to us? And... Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, he yeah. never leaves me. He never leaves her. Uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Hmm. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and are you um? Are you married or anything? No. If no. he's married, I, why is he here? Yeah, I mean, I, I I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years, and. Uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? You, I guess. No. <laughs> I've got Aiden, so. <laughs> I mean, anyone in our world. <laughs> you know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. <laughs> maybe I'm just. She's too so odd funny. For anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Aiden's got nothing to do with this. Oh, what do I do? Okay. Oh no, 
I feel so bad. Maybe I shouldn't have. Aiden's going to be furious. Why did I do this? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. This is really bad. Oh, this is... What? This is moving way too quick. <laughs> He's only just finished the dinner. Oh, no. This is a bad choice. Oh, no, 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 no. I should not have done this. Full regret. Stop. Stop. Jordan, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not, um, it's not your fault. There's, there's just... Whoa. There's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Has that got anything to do with what happened in the bar that time? She's not been able to she's be close to a, a... No, he's going? He just gets up and goes when she is obviously traumatized? I'm disgusted in that. I regret that. I regret that. I want to replay that. I don't like it. I'm honestly so tempted to replay that and not kiss him because I don't personally really like Ryan much at all. The only reason that I allowed Jody to kiss him was because she likes Ryan. And a lot of times when I play games, I make the choices based on what I would do or what I want. But in this case, I did what Jody would want and she is interested in Ryan. She even told Aiden that she was falling for him. So you know, she likes him. Just because I don't necessarily like him doesn't mean that I shouldn't. Um, you know what I mean? I, I, does that make any sense? But like, I don't like that guy. So I totally regret doing that. And even though like he did not stay and comfort her when she was obviously distressed and traumatized about what had happened to her in the past, that is a jerk. He is a jerk. I totally regret everything. She liked him. So I gave her what she wanted. And I'm not happy about it. Oh, I just want to go back and not do that. But we'll just leave it, I guess. 76% cooked chicken or beef. 72% dressed nicely. 70% left Jody and Ryan alone. 80% clean the apartment, 60% were locked in the corridor by Aiden, and 72% didn't sleep with Ryan because of what happened in the bar, I'm pretty sure. That has effectively stopped her and has traumatized her enough that she won't really get involved in things like that. I'm not happy with kissing Ryan, but I'm just going to leave it. It is what it is. She wanted it. I didn't. I'll, I'll, and I didn't, didn't. Let's go on to the next one. Ah, night session. Oh, in between the experiment and the party. So she's kind of young. Like a teen-ish? Oh, a bit younger than a teen? Okay. Oh, <laughs> You little sweetie. I think she's getting sleepy. Can we do anything as our good buddy Aiden? Ooh, what's in there? That looks a bit creepy. Bit creepy in there. So what, um... Not really sure what we're up to. We're just having a nighttime session, I guess. Like it says. <laughs> what, t what exactly, what time is it? I don't know. And what's everyone doing? Like, what are they up to? Just working on their computers. Tired. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that? 
They're trying to work out. That's a lot to work out. I couldn't even imagine how they work any of this stuff out. Hey. <laughs> I did see that I could go on the computer or have a look. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? I want to have a look in this dark room. She's like, nope. Okay, I guess we just Lisa, go to bed. I'm so tired. Can we go now? <laughs> oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was Aww. concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Aww. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here. And then we can go, okay? Okay. Sure, I'm on it. In the dark room. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Aww. I love these two. I love them. They're so wonderful. Hey. Hey, what's that? Can I... I, I just saw that I could do something. Ooh, I don't really like it in there, I gotta say. What's that thing? Is that another bonus thingy? I think so. Yeah, alright. I've got a few of those so far. Okay. In the dark room. In the scary room. Need the light on. So, where did he leave that book? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't like this room. Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. That's not Aiden. The door is going to slam shut. Hey. I don't want to be in that room. No. Okay, well, let's just get ready for some bad things and some scares. It's okay. It's alright. There's a book. It's pink. Aiden? It's not Aiden. Are you doing that, Aiden? Mm-mm. It's not Aiden, but I can't see any bad things around her. Just run it. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. What? Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, whoa! I didn't like that! Should I go back in there? Should I go back in there? Oh no! I'm trying to think of who those people were. I think that was... Like the birth mother or the mother, I don't know. <laughs> you found it! Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Who was that person? Jody. Are you okay? Nope. You look pain. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan. I don't like him. You. Nathan Dawkins. Hang on. Hang on. That's his wife and daughter, right? Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from their mothers. Oh, no. Truck. Oh, no. Drunk. 
driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Um, Jody, let's get you off to bed. Hey, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. That's so sad. Is so so sad right that was awful I feel so bad for poor Mr. Dawkins he doesn't deserve anything like that well nobody does but he's such a sweet guy I see the funny thing is when I saw those like his wife I recognized her I must have seen her character in this game in the beginning or that was so bad but I, I didn't know that Jody could see the dead or things like that otherwise wouldn't we have seen that a lot more a unless it was only because they had just recently passed that they were able to be seen and because they were there being with Nathan damn that's terrible well this episode the this last couple of episodes that I've done have have just been really really emotional the first one and this one just gone to see what happened to poor Nathan is just tragic so sad he's and then basically it's gone to be you know Jody is his family it that's what he has left now it's just Jody. I'm full of regrets in this one. I regret kissing Ryan, but I'm just gonna go with it and leave it. And I'm sorry, Aiden. You were right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aiden. I'm never gonna have a boyfriend again in this game, okay? Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.